Hey guys, I'm here. Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm gonna give you guys a small recap on the new episode of Concrete Revolution Trojan Gensu, the last song. This episode right here felt a little bit. I thought this episode might be a little bit wasted, but it was like at least 90% of the time, okay? Hear me out most of the time, but after I'm done recapping, yeah, so let's go. Okay, at the beginning of the episode, we have to it that this support, supporting test field jumper test field jumper person did something, you know? And that's field jump testing and the skiing, you know? But apparently, after what's been happening here and there, he gets into an argument with, like, one of his teammates. Well, former teammates. I don't know. Who the f*** knows? They get struck by lightning. And apparently, they called in the Superhuman Bureau to help out, apparently. And because of this here and there, we have to it that, um... Let me see here. I, I don't remember the names. All I know is I only remember Kiko and Emmy. They're the only... Along with these other person who has the freaking pocket watch... Pocket watch whatsoever. Along with Furota, which... Yeah, I don't care much about those two characters. They end up trying to solve a situation about the flower heads, apparently. And everyone else ends up getting flower headed by a lightning bolt. Jiro, on the other hand, ends up talking to the ski jump field tester, and apparently there might be one person who might be behind this. And apparently it is shown that it was a god's doing. Perikipipa, what the, what the freaking heck it is. And after that, we have to it that, um... Perikipipa wanted to do some kind of ceremony, you know? And therefore, the field jump tester decides to solve that problem. Apparently there was a fight between Jiro and Yoshimura, the guy, Yoshimura Hyoma, the guy who has this pocket watch whatsoever. I don't know what the hell he is anymore. Don't really care about him, honestly. And there was a fight between them, but a guy who's the, field, who's the ski test jumper ends up solving the problem by doing a ceremony, and everyone's, everything's back to normal, nothing more. So overall, I could just tell you right now, just a skiing competition kind of thing and there's this flower head incident and it was caused by a god one person solves the issue and fixes it but also but emmy makes a mention make makes a gives out some info about gods in a certain gods in a certain area you know especially the one in tokyo she says we don't really know we don't we know that this god in tokyo is not very pleasant so it could give out a certain foreshadowing episode did not have much going on, honestly. That's why I say 90% wasted, okay? Nothing much going on here and there. So until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. So I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. Two to do.